This is actually one of the questions that I did actually want to ask you. So this is I'm like out of order in how I wanted to ask you. But it's all right. We're we're jamming. We're vibing. Okay, this is this is full exactly Full power out of control. We're full power out of control. <laughs> okay. And this has everything to do with part of how you were able to really grasp a lot of us is not just with the content that you provided in Legend, but the emotions that you drew out of us through the music. <laughs> and you chose two specific songs to play during these fight scenes, okay? Right after the Saiyan legend, hear me, right? Today a god falls, bones to dust. Ashes to the wind, ah, and he powers up, and here comes Limit X Survivor. That's the first thing, okay? At this point, I'm sure people watching this, they're just like, oh, okay, right? That's when, that's when you really start paying attention. And, and then the fight ensues, and Vegeta's going all in, back and forth with Broly. Hip toss. Toss yo, even when he when even when he his 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 ribs got shattered, that whole everything about that was so epic because again, Hawkeye brought up the flickering. Okay? We are conditioned to whenever we see a, a transformation get knocked out, that's it. It's over. Done. Then we're like, ah shit, like they're fucked, right? Not you. Not here. <laughs> Turn that shit right back on. Vegeta, listen, like, this Dude, is... He, he hit us with the actually. This is a good actually. This, <laughs> <laughs> this is a great... He turned the form off, his ribs broke, and Vegeta said, actually, <laughs> turn that shit right back on. It was at that moment when that, like, I was already hooked. Like, I, I, oh, had, yeah. I had already paused it. If I'm remembering my own reaction right, I had already paused it before because I had to stop for a second and just be like, okay... This is this is a lot better than what I was even expecting because I had no I had zero expectation right, and then Chi Chi's arm breaks. There's no music. Goku pays attention, and the second his face turned, and his and he went from shocked to angry. All I heard was the. Uh, and that's all I needed to hear because that was the first note to one of the most iconic songs in anime okay that is a fact it's not an opinion okay no matter how people feel about the version of whatever version of Dragon Ball Z they, they watched they grew up on that song to this day is still remembered and acknowledged as such because when Goku first went Super Saiyan 3, that was a humongous deal. And it, was, it is a moment that people still reference back to. So when I heard this, I had to pause it again. Because I had to hold back the tears. Because I didn't want, I didn't want to cry. I didn't want to cry on my video. I've cried in previous videos before. <laughs> but I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. I had to, I had to, keep, I had to keep myself cool, calm, collected. Because I'm like, nah. He didn't just do this, but you did. You I can elaborate you, on a bit of that if you want. <laughs> and that's exactly exa so. Yes, please take it away. Why these songs, and what was your whole thought process when you made the smartest decisions on how to truly get us all in? Okay, so first let me elaborate on who made those songs. So the SSJ three theme is by Friedrich Habletter. Yep. He does. If you guys don't already know him. Oh, he's on my playlist. Yo, best. he made that? You didn't know that? Yeah. His yeah. No. Credit, this man, like, the best version of this song with the drums. He made something great even better somehow. So, um, I've been listening to that for years. And Same. then, maybe two years after I found that is when I started Legend. And then, Charlie Para Del Riego, he did The Limit X Survivor. Like, and all his stuff, he is, he's like another coming of Slash. This guy, he's so good. He does like covers, he does his own music, he does constantly, like, he's so good. So, when I made the storyboard for this in 2018, I boarded to the music. So all those beats, the transitions in the song, and then when it picks up with the solo, like all this stuff, like, um, it's all 
choreographed to the music for me. So I knew from the beginning the songs that I wanted to use because they were just so good. And some people, like including myself, like we didn't really like too much of the music out of Super, but there were just some songs, and that was one of them. Yeah. That's just man, this is so good. Like how could I not? And then I remember somebody even commented a long time ago, oh, I hope you don't use any music from Super. I'm like, yep, you don't know what you're talking about. Ah, <laughs> so, I got him. Yeah. Hey, so uh, that's number one. Number two is going back to Friedrich's SSJ theme. So I love the Japanese Dragon Ball. It's how I was introduced to Dragon Ball. But there are certain things in the English one that are, they just decimate the Japanese. And that song is one of them. And I remember the scene like, yeah, he transforms, but they use it again where he's about to, he's about to die. And Vegeta's like, you're better than me, Kakarot. You are the best. And then he does the spirit bomb and he's waiting. He's, no, he wants to do the spirit bomb. So he's asking for power. So they wish back his power. And then the song starts. And then um, he goes Super Saiyan one more time. And he has this power battle with Majin Buu. And all of it goes so nicely with the music. Maybe I'll see you again for a little one-on-one. -on -one. You know, like, so... I hope that's what he said. That's how I remember it. But anyway, um, so that song, that's the reason I chose that. Because like, it's just, just like how the visuals stick with me, that song stuck with me. But now to just give you a little bit more of like um, a production uh, viewpoint on these, these songs. That song is so important to me that the way that transformation is timed out, it almost didn't happen that way. Because the scene where he starts getting mad and the music kicks in, da 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 all of that is timed to that song and when he screams out the fire and Vegeta looks at him and then there's that pan it's during my favorite bar of the song and I had to cut it out only because David and I David's the sound engineer and director on this film he uh I kept telling him that I liked Tuvin and Mongol chants like throat singing and stuff like that and he's like oh he's like okay maybe we can play that in somewhere and he's like you know what and I wanted it on that pan it was gonna be overlaid on top of that favorite bar of the song. But he's like, you know, no matter how I make this go, like, it's just not working nice. He's like, how about this? And then he did something where he actually ripped the music out and he added all these drones and these chants and the drums and he added all this stuff in and Goku looks at the screen and everything stops. And then his somehow with his engineering magic, he started the song again by splicing parts and it starts with like, down, down, and then it gets right back into it. So he was able to preserve how good the progression of that song is while giving me exactly what i wanted with because goku is inspired by this like monkey king i wanted to sound very ancient and he was able to put both those into it and all of it worked out perfectly so all that is just in a, a long way of saying i love that song <laughs> thank you that was awesome oh that's that good shit.